the Staten at Museum Way is proud to present the Red Carpet Speaker Series, featuring some of America's most thought-provoking presenters. Each month, you'll hear from newsmakers, innovators, and celebrities as they share insider information, news, and stories. Our Speaker Series is an excellent way to discover the red carpet treatment at the Staten. Retirement, Fort Worth style, living your style. Please visit thestaten.com slash red carpet or call 817-349-6117 for more information. Now we invite you to enjoy highlights from the Staten's recent Red Carpet Speaker Series event featuring Bob Phillips, journalist and beloved host of Texas Country Reporter. One of the things that I have, that I have come to appreciate over my career is a love of words. I love, I love what you can do with words in the English language. There are, you know, there's so many different meanings and ways that you can, that you can say things and inflections and, and, and all of those. I'll give you a couple of examples. I wondered why the baseball was getting bigger. <laughs> then it hit me. <laughs> Did you hear about the guy who's Entire left side was cut off. He's all right now. <laughs> to write with a broken pencil is pointless. <laughs> oh, come on, who's better than that? <laughs> the professor discovered that her theory on earthquakes was on shaky ground. The dead batteries were given out free of charge. <laughs> Boy, it took you a minute on that one, didn't it? <laughs> The dentist and the manicurist fought tooth and nail. <laughs> a bicycle can't stand alone. It's too tired. <laughs> a will is a dead giveaway. A calendar's days are numbered. And a boiled egg is hard to beat. Okay, I warned you. Was <laughs> After we'd been doing the show for a little while, just a couple of years, I got a phone call. I remember I was... I was sick. There was a flu bug going around, and I probably had it. I, was, I rarely get sick, but I was sick as a dog that day. I was home, and my home phone rings, and <clears throat> I pick it up, <clears throat> you know, hello. And the voice on the other end says, uh, Bob Phillips, please. Uh, this is Bob. <clears throat> Bob, this is... Charles Kuralt. <laughs> well, I knew that the guys, everybody at the station knew that he was my big hero, and they, I figured, you know, they're making fun of the fact that I'm homesick, and I knew that Charles Kuralt really was in town because he was coming to speak to the uh, to the uh, the Radio Television News Directors Association at the Fairmont Hotel in Dallas. I had planned to go so I could hear him speak, but I'm homesick and I'm not going to get to go. So I thought, yeah, the guys down at the TV station are making fun of me. So I went, yeah, right. <laughs> Click. <clears throat> a few seconds later, phone rings again, and he goes, Bob, this really is Charles Kuralt. <laughs> By this time, the, it had sunk into my little bitty brain that I recognized that voice. <laughs> and uh, it really was. And... That led to, he, he called because he had just seen our show on the air the night before. And he called to tell me, <clears throat> I can remember, and I keep in mind, I'm, by this point, I think I'm 21, maybe 22. And <clears throat> so I took this as a big compliment. He said, that's the best copy of what I do I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's go ahead and watch the, uh, the DVD if we can. Hello, I'm Charles Durall. And I'm Bob Phillips. Maybe you have noticed Bob and I really do pretty much the same thing. On the road, traveling around, meeting people. Charles, I think we ought to divvy up the territory. Now, you would uh, want Texas, I suppose. And you could take the rest of America. Oh, I've always sort of liked Texas. Okay, we'll share. I'm Phillips and Durall's only on Channel 4. And that's the way it all got started. My friend Charles Kuralt pioneered this idea of traveling the back roads to tell the American story. Now, Kuralt traveled the entire United States. 
but agreed to share Texas with me. So we set out with a crew, a van, and a camera to find out if you thought Texans were as interesting as we thought they were. I have to tell you, I was a little bit apprehensive at first, but it took only a couple of trips to learn that the people of Texas are proud, and they do have something to say. They're proud of their state, their lives, and their accomplishments. These are people with smiles on their faces and stories in their hearts. Well, it's been about four decades since we made that first journey, and the thing we've learned is that it's out here where you find life's real heroes, the people you find out here on the back roads. Why don't you just hop in and travel with me? I'm Bob Phillips. This is Texas Country Report. Well, I certainly appreciate you letting me come and spend a couple hours with you this morning. Uh, it's, it's been my pleasure, and I, I love a group like this. And like I said, if you haven't been outside today, get outside. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed these highlights from the Staten's Red Carpet Speaker Series. Please visit thestaten.com slash red carpet or call 817-349-6117 for details on future installments of the Red Carpet Speaker Series or to learn more about getting red carpet treatment at the Staten at Museum Way. Retirement Fort Worth style. Living your style.